Uh, Kane, I just want to head back to you again. Um, we, uh, Lord, I just uh, briefly mentioned the Melbourne St Kilda game there. Your thoughts on that? Because, I mean, from a scoreline point of view, it was a terrific contest. It was. It was a fascinating game, I found it. As we look at the dying stages of this game, thought St Kilda had so many opportunities to win it. This goal here, Petraka, kick oh. four, was unbelievable again. Now, this is somewhat controversial just because the technology wasn't there. Only one game up there uh, in Alice Springs for the year, so they didn't have the goal line technology. It looked touched to me, but the umpire's call was a goal, so there was no evidence to overturn that. But memory put them within four points with four minutes to go. They plus 16 inside 50, St Kilda, and 11 to 2 centre bounce clearances. Oh. You get those numbers, you should not be losing this game of footy. In the end, Melbourne hang on, but I still think, Lord, they've got some, some real issues with their game. The, their ball used out of the back half in the third quarter, they continue to turn the footy over. And I'm just you know, sensing a, a lack of goal scoring options. Like if it wasn't for Petraka last night, who was going to kick their goal? So um, still some areas of their game that they wouldn't quite be happy with. Uh, well, Kane mentions Petraka there. Um, th we talk about breakout years. This yep. is a breakout year and a half for him, isn't it? Without a doubt. He didn't have a vote in the Brownlow medal last year. And I love the fact that they're playing him not only in the That's midfield, because exactly he's fit enough to play in the midfield, but as we saw last night, marking the ball in the forward half of the ground. Now, Dustin Martin has played this role for the best part of four or five years and probably the best player in the competition at doing that and has won a Brownlow medal because of it. Now, is he getting towards the Dustin Martin? He's still got a little bit of time to go, but I think if he continues to play this way over the next 12, 18, 24 months, we're going to be talking about Petrarca the same way we talk about Dustin Martin because he is a wonderful footballer who's got himself fit enough and he can turn games. He's an impact player. Brady, we've been told for a good six weeks that the Brownlow medal was a one-horse race, a Lockie Neal only yep. race. Have we got Christian Petrarca in it? Have we got Travis Boak in it? Uh, Travis Boak and Christian Petrarca are probably second and third at the moment. I st still think Lockie Neal has a fair margin at the moment. Lockie Neal doesn't have anybody taking votes off him at Brisbane, which might sound funny for how good they are, but Charlie Cameron hasn't had the year he's had. So it's going to be fascinating to see, but Petrarca definitely be voting well. Season-defining win last night for Melbourne, and they have four teams outside of the top eight in the run home, so they should make it if they're good enough. But this is an area they must improve. This is what Cornsy's talking about, the basic fundamentals. This one from Ooh, Nathan Jones. Nathan. Look at the scoreboard, 14 points up, all the momentum. They lost the momentum after that. This is a young fella off half-back. That sort of kick, <laughs> unforgivable at AFL level. This one here from Hannon. Ball gets kicked. This all with the run of play. Missing the targets by a long, long way. And then this one, Maxi Gorn. <laughs> kicking off one step straight to a St Kilda player. So that is killing Melbourne still, their efficiency. Lucky they've got a guy by the name of Stephen May who, like Petrarca, is super fit. And this is a board of his season so far. So his last eight weeks in particular, I think he's making a great run at it to be the All-Australian fullback in, in the AFL. He's just marking everything. Max King one... Obviously, Norton, zero. Walker, zero. Dixon, zero. So he's taking scalp after scalp. And I wanted to show you how he's actually doing it, Stephen May. So this is one. You think, OK, he takes a mark. But how's he actually doing it? It's his ability to read the ball in the air. So here, he's up against uh, Tim Membry. Watch how he is reading it like an actual forward, yeah. um, Stephen May. So don't know if he played as a forward in his junior days, but his ability here. He, he can see here, Stephen May, that that isn't going to be kicked out to Phillips. So he's judging it so well, it's amazing. Poor Ben uh, Maxi King last night. He was in all sorts of he trouble. Was, he didn't know he? what to do. A little frustrated. This is the last one. King in front. But his ability to read the ball in the air is what is separating him from so many defenders at the moment. And TJ. a big it's body. Great to watch. Yeah. A big body, isn't he? Just and he's got rid a of real him. passion yeah. too. So he's he got has. himself fit. Sounds oh, like you've still got some doubts about Melbourne whether they can beat really good sides. Yeah, that's right, Brownie. But I think with their fixture and their run home, I think they can make it.